necklace. We've actually got some new gear. Uh, I should probably put that on. Gearless again. I wish they fixed this glitch. Or whatever it is. It's kind of annoying. Um... I don't need that. Do you need my belt? Okay. Um Yeah. I am curious where we report our findings, though. We should probably have done the dreams things first. Whoopsies. Um. I am just actually curious if if returning back to the tower when the island wants to move back does anything. to self don't play split game it should move people don't like me oh I'm sorry kitten sorry to hear that I like you that counts my other half likes you there's a pause because I had to wake him up sorry he's sleeping <laughs> Onwards. always welcome in hell <laughs> Um, is he upstairs? Also, you, you don't have to talk to people in Splitgate. <laughs> Unless you're playing with friends. <laughs> hmm. Well then. He is not here. Okay. So how do we talk to our master? I have won every game I played. Top of the year, breaking all my records. Ooh. That's good. Congrats. So he's not in the tower. Uh, so I don't know where our master is. Okay. You still have your streak too. I probably have to talk to the storyteller, don't I? 
I didn't talk to him. That would... Because they did mention that they were talking a lot together. That would make a lot of sense. I don't, I don't like you being all the records unless it's the enemy team you're talking about, in which case they can suck it. <laughs> Tell Zacharias I have news for him. I'll tell him during our next meeting, which is to happen in the very near future. We have agreed that in return for my account of the art of the current mages, you will give me an item that holds the most intriguing and tragic story. Alright, I have to go. Alright, meeting done. Onward to the path of the Lich King. Alright. Um, I guess we'll talk to Valexia and then... Maybe she won't murder us? <laughs> Maybe? Also, I haven't checked spells in a while. I should probably do that before we go talk to Valexia. Oh, hi, hi, master. The, no the storyteller told me you had news. Did you complete the task I gave you? Uh, Nocturia exting extinguished a passion in Alethea's heart. She extinguished her passion. Hmm, that makes sense. Suppressing all the desires and affections of the victim's heart would plunge him in the darkest, in the blackest depression. The urge to resist and, and the will necessary to perform you the most basic instinctive actions would disappear. It's almost genius. She mortally wounded the soul. She deadened her enemy's desire and turned Alinthia into a shadow of her from herself. An inert object that could easily be, be blah, 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 that could easily that could be easily manipulated. Why is reading so hard today? How clever. Tell me soon, what do you think why do you think Nocturia attacked Alinthia this way? She suppressed Anthea's rage in order to make her weak. I doubt it. Nocturne is, no, is known for taking her fo foes by surprise. She prefers a swift kill, not a prolonged fight. I do not believe Nocturne did anything to weaken Anthea. I do not even think there was a battle between them. I believe Nocturne killed her with a single blow. By the time Anthea knew what hit her, it was too late. You have grasped the essence of the riddle, but you have found not. But you have not found the answer. Your critical thinking skills leave much to be desired. It's a good thing you have me to help you. Now be quiet and listen to my plan. This is what we must do next. Okay. I shall do what Nocturia did to her enemies. And no, I do not mean that I shall shoot you in the heart with a black bolt of despair. I am speaking figuratively. If we use a bolt like that on you, it will likely kill you. After all, it is a weapon designed to take uh, the lives of demon lords. There is no sense in poking you with it. But I finally have the answer. I shall extinguish the passion within your soul. You have to give up everything you hold dear, everything you love, and everything that stirs your desires. Love, carnal, and romantic. Gold, oh no, we can't give up gold. Delicious foods, tart, wines, glory, and a triumph of victory. I shall take it all and throw it into a sacrificial fire. And, it, and when it all burns away into nothingness, you will embark upon a new path of ashes with a dead heart. Then and only then will you become a noble undead, an eternal philosopher, lord of death. Yes, this is it. By taking everything from you, I shall give you everything. What does the ritual entail? We shall commit a murder! I, I like the sound of that. <laughs> we must extinguish all the passion in your heart 
They bind you too tightly to your mortality and keep your soul attached to this living body of blood and bone. You must renounce your desires, destroy them, and your heart will become cold and hard and dead. Only then will you have the power, to, power you desire, but the price will be high. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's become a lich. Very well. Finish up your business in the abyss quickly and return to Ziggurat. I shall be wait waiting for you. Damn it, we had to get out of hell now to become the lich. God damn it. I had hopes. I had such hopes. I had hopes we could be we could be a Lich King tonight. But no, we have to get out of hell first. Curse you hell. Do, 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 do. None of us has jump, right? Also spells. Uh, I, cause I kind of forgot. Anything you guys can learn? That would be a nada. Okay. Okay. Inside we go. Here's our long awaited guest. The performance is about to begin, and there's so much new talent here today. I wonder if any of them will entertain me. She looks directly at you as she makes this last remark. Starting to suspect you you're, you're losing interest in our conversations. Alexa throws you a withering glance and mutters something under her breath before she answers. In that case, you should act fast before you lose what remains of my interest. Oh Lord. We're gonna call we might die. Or we might kill her. Dun 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 dun. Alexia claps her hand imperiously, and one of the performers begins to sing a heartful ballad in a deep, vel velvety voice. Alexia Vel looks tired, and her eyes are full of sadness. There's a wistful note in her voice as she asks, Tell me, how did you end up here in the abyss? You're not one of us. Our ways are foreign to you. Why did you come to our world? It is what my queen ordered me to do. Alexia sounds slightly irritated. Do you always follow your queen's order? If she is the one who does not does all your thinking for you, perhaps I'd be better off talking with her, not you. The demon interrupts the battle with an impatient clap of her hands. The singer quails beneath her imperious gaze and hurries away. A tiefling steps onto the stage next to, dressed as a jester. I think we're going to be in trouble. Here's another one for you, distinguished guests. How many morals would it take to paint this manor? Depends on how hard you throw them at the walls. Ha 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 There is a lot of enemies around us. That wailing was starting to annoy me. What do we have next? Oh, another fool has decided to entertain me with his jokes. Well, as far as I'm aware, laughing at cripples and the misfortune is popular and glaring as well. If you ask me, it's a primitive form of entertainment. Still, you mortals seem to enjoy it, even though you try to pretend yourselves different from us creatures of vice and evil. Now, now that I'm thinking about it, what is the difference between demons and Galorians? There is no difference. We're practically identical. Of course we are different. It's silly to pretend otherwise. I was interested in understanding the nature of our differences. But since I have a general conversation, you chose to answer my question with flattery. Uh oh. I feel like we just fucked up. I mean, how many of them do we need to fight? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, that's not that many. Deep down, begin to wonder if you're worth my time. Why should I desire your company? What more do you have to offer? Because I will rise to great heights. No, uh, that's boring. Because no one can match the pure unbridled fury of my soul. Enough! You try so hard to talk and act like one of, the, one of us is just pathetic. You're not even convincing. Oh, look at you. So rebellious and free, so wild spirit fears and defiant. You're certainly ridiculous, but that does make you interesting. Alexia snaps her finger in irritation and the magic sparks from her fingertips. Performers who are unlucky enough to provide the evening's entertainment begin to scream with pain. Their bodies change shape, density, and color. In a matter of moments, they've been completely transformed into a set of whimsical, de decorated furniture. The piece pieces of furniture creak sadly, as if lamenting their bitter fate. Oh, my lord. She turned them into furniture. Alexia's face controlled violently. Her beauty disappears, and her features transform into something wild and animalistic. Her jaws expand, revealing her horrible teeth. Guards, kill him! If you can't amuse me in any other way, at least you can entertain me with a fight. Well! We fucked up. The last one for me. But... This shouldn't be that bad, right? We would like to get angry. And then smack the bejesus out of you. This is a lot of enemies. Um, stab. You can't do anything. Um, Take a fire pillar to the face, please and thank you. Ow! Stop with the potions! Uh, bismuth. Nope. Okay, Trevor, it's your time to shine. Let's get angry. And then, uh, smack the bejesus out of this guy. I can't check. Uh, hi, Steve. Ooh, you're in trouble, Steve. Why do you only have... Oh, something... You got hit by something, didn't you? Slow. Great. Ah, this is just what I need. Yeah, figure attack for opportunity. Hi, Nino. Uh, I need you to do stuff. Like, I need you to start eviscerating people. Thank you. That's a swift action, need you to disappear. Really? 
Well, that sucks. What photograph am I looking at, Narnage? Is you and <laughs> no, no. We won't, we won't go there. What shall I do today? What shall I do today? What shall I do today? What shall I do? Hmm, should I stab them or should I run? Should I go for this guy? Hmm. I feel like Stripes isn't gonna survive very long. Oh my god. Confuse his bow. Could you not throw more potions at me? Greatly appreciate it. Ow. This is not going out well. <laughs> the fuck? The fuck was that? Why are you slamming doors in my penthouse? What the hell? <laughs> Close the doors nicely! <laughs> we are not living. We are not surviving this. I don't think so. <laughs> There's no way. Gone, oh my god, I'm so confused. I mean, maybe. I'm. I could probably start if I if I could not be confused for however long I'm confused for. Oh, frightened for two minutes. If I could not be frightened for two minutes, that'd be great. Just, just, just as a thought. I've seen worse. I uh, have you, because uh, we're about to, we're about to get KO'd, good sir. I will crush them. Nope. Fight. Fight. <laughs> go, bait, go! The odds of winning this are really slim now. Um. Yeah, we're gonna have to try. My only hope is to not be feared anymore. Yeah, I figured. What I expected. <laughs> um, do we? Losing my temper. Let's see if we can maybe not piss her off. So what entertainment have you prepared for your guests? Here I thought you were here to team. Oh boy. We have already fucked it up. Maybe we speak some good stuff? Maybe she'll be happy? Maybe we lie to her? I'm gonna skip this. 
Ah, uh, so she doesn't like lawful. She doesn't like chaotic. We'll lie. Well, actually, what do you think is going on? This is the finale. The performance is about to end. As I've already told you, Alexa's temper is volatile, and I can see the proof of my words. She's grown tired of a new Galarian companion and will unleash her anger upon you at any moment. If you can surprise her, you might buy yourself some time. Otherwise, you should prepare for a fight. We are now in this wild creature's la lair, and our enemies have us quartered. Alright, so we start lying then. I bring goodness and light to this dark place. A small tired smile appears on Alexia's lips. What heroic self-sacrifice and so much pathos. You are still so young. The wailing has, start has started well again, but blah, blah. Um... We represent order, not and you represent chaos. So what? Mm, they're just labels you for okay, well. We uh we're gonna be we're gonna Deep down I'm beginning to wonder if you're worth the time. Why should I desire your company? What more do you have to offer? I think we'll piss her off if we ask her to answer it herself. Maybe because I can guide you to the light? AKA your death? So you really are naive. Have you decided to what's the expression? Same with your love? How utterly ridiculous. Uh I must admit that our time together has brought me a certain degree of amusement. However, I do not intend for us to meet again. I ask that you take this humble gift as a sign of my affection and fond memory of the pleasure our pleasure our conversations used to provide. <laughs> This is one of my last creations. It has an intelligent mind of its own. It's certainly far more clever and more sophist and sophisticated than many living creatures I know. The jewelry will identify the most important traits and features of its owners, and then it will enhance those abilities. It's a rare and valuable gift. I hope you appreciate its worth. Now I must ask you to leave. I have grown tired of your company. Thank you for your time. I enjoyed your domains. Now I must you. Our dates were unforgettable. Now I ask you to leave as soon as possible. Okay. Valexia granted you her patronage. Though her interest did not last long, this affair has still brought you recognition, fear, and respect of Lucia's many residents. I must ask you to be honest with me. Do you like the, all the attention? Mm. This is very. This has been such an exciting whirlwind of affairs. I enjoy being feared and respected by others. I'm sorry to hear that. The fiery passions of the demons have captivated countless mortal souls, and their sensuality and flattery have seduced far too many crusaders. I worry for you, champion. I will worry for your soul. Stay strong. He has no idea that we're, like, really into this kingdom of the undead kind of stuff. Sh for shits and giggles, because she's bored of us. Can we talk to her? Oh, okay. Had to try. So what does this thing do? Oh. This Amna grants is rare plus five enhancement to Oh What do we have though? I think that's a good idea. We don't use Sonics much, honestly. So yeah. Um, I just a quick check on spell books. That's what I thought. Hello, unwanted. 
Welcome and thank you for the follow. What do you mean Twitch lies? I was following. There's no way I wasn't. No problem, unwanted. <laughs> thank you for the follow, man. Most appreciated and welcome to the stream. How are you doing, man? Um, we're just doing some quick spell works. Ooh, I do have disintegrate. That's a temptation that I will deal later. Ah. Nothing like a nut. Ooh, Phantasma Killer, though. <laughs> no problem, man. Law world premiere of No Full Rap here. 